Hey guys, in this video I want to present a solution to the first problem of this year's International Math Olympiad taking place in Japan. Let's have a look on the problem statement. We are asked to find all composite integers n greater than 1, such that if 1 equals d1, less than d2, less than and so on, up to less than dk, which should be equal to n, are the divisors of n, we have that di divides di plus 1 plus di plus 2 for all i between 1 and k minus 2. We see that if n is equal to p to the power of a, where p is a prime number and a is an integer greater than or equal to 2, we get that di is equal to p to the power of i minus 1. Since p to the power of i minus 1 clearly divides p to the power of i plus p to the power of i plus 1, we see that the condition is satisfied and therefore these n's are all solutions. From the fact that n is composite and greater than 1, we know that in any other case we can write n to be equal to p to the power of a times q to the power of b times some integer m where a and b are also positive integers and p and q are two different prime numbers. Without loss of generality we can assume that p is the smallest and q the second smallest prime divisor of n and that m is not divisible by p and q. Using this representation for n we can also find some representations for di in terms of p, q and m. Firstly we have that dk is equal to p to the power of a times q to the power of b times n. Then dk minus 1 is equal to p to the power of a minus 1 times q to the power of b times m. Now for dk minus 2 we have two different cases. In the first case this is equal to p to the power of a minus 2 times q to the power of b times m and in the second case this is equal to p to the power of a times q to the power of b minus 1 also times m. The first case holds if p squared is less than q and a is greater than or equal to 2 and the second case holds if p squared is greater than q or if a is equal to 1. Taking a look at the given condition for i equals to k minus 2 we see that dk minus 2 must divide the sum of these two integers. If we are in the second case here we see that p to the power of a does not divide the sum here and therefore we must be in the first case. In the same way we can go on and since it's not possible to always land in the first case we want to consider the point where we are in the second case and try to get a contradiction. Therefore let's define j to be the minimum of the set consisting of all integers l such that p to the power of l is greater than q. Moreover j prime is defined to be the minimum of j and a plus 1. Here I want to note that j is at least 2 since p is less than q and a plus 1 is also at least 2 since a is at least 1. Therefore we have that j prime is greater than or equal to 2. Now if we consider the given condition for i equals k minus j prime we get that p to the power of a times q to the power of b minus 1 times m must divide p to the power of a minus j prime plus 1 times q to the power of b times m plus p to the power of a minus j prime plus 2 times q to the power of b times m. This can be written as p to the power of a minus j prime plus 1 times 1 plus p times q to the power of b times m. Since j prime is greater than or equal to 2 and these factors here are not divisible by p, we know that the right hand side is divisible by p by at most a minus 1 times. But the left hand side is a times divisible by p and therefore this is a contradiction. In total we know that n equals to p to the power of a is our only possible solution and therefore we are done.